hello everyone welcome back to another adobe after effects tutorial and in this video we are going to make this kind of 3d logo into all 3d title animation in adobe after effects and to make this video we are going to use two plugin one is 11 3d and another one is optical flares so you must need this two plugin so make sure that you have this plugin in your pc so now let's get started the video so first let's create a new composition i'm going to rename it to main and i'm using 1920 pixel by 1080 pixel 13 frame rate per second and for this time i'm going to use duration around 15 second now let's create a new solid and rename it to background and select this background go to effect preset and search for gradient apply it let's change the start color to something like dark blue and change the end color to pure black and then change ramp shape to red L and change this to something like this now let's create a new text so for this tutorial i'm going to use text but you are free to use your own logo so if you are going to use the logo you just need to auto trace it but if you're going to use text you don't need to auto trace so type your text select this text make sure that your text in align to the center now you can close it now let's create another new solid and rename it to 11 3d hit ok now select the 11 3d go to effect and then go to video copilot and select 11 now go to custom layer and custom text can mask from here path 1 select your text but if you are using your logo then you must need to auto trace and select your auto trace text or it just logo from here so as i am going to use my text so i am going to select the 3d intro text from here after that you need to click on the send setup and now click on the extrude so here you will find your logo or text and then you can turn off the grid and then from here select the bevel change the bevel segment to 5 and bevel depth 2 and enable bevel backside then go to preset go to procedure to select the metal and then go to something like this point and select metal rusted and apply it to here uncheck graph texture and then select this go to uv mapping and change uv repeat 5 by 5 so here we will find something like this and then change the light to stylize then from here click ok so here is our 3d text and now we need to create a new camera so i'm going to use 28 millimeter camera hit ok now select element 3d go to group 1 then go to particle locks and then go to multi objects enable it then go to scatter multi change it below to 10 and change x below to 5 y5 then change this scatter m x to 5 y5 and z to 5 now let's use the rotation so make it something like this or what kind of you want you can use distance to something like 2 or 1 so I hope 1 is ok and from here select the camera 1 go to around 2 second select the camera 1 press ctrl shift D and cut it here here and select the camera 1 let's zoom it and select any of the text for this time I'm going to rotate or use this D make it something like this now go to element so create a keyframe to X rotation and 
to the Z rotation. Then go to last of this camera. Let's make it something like this. So here we will find something like this kind of camera movement. So we need five or six camera movement like this. So keep creating camera movement. I am going to fast forward this video as all the process is same. So go to this point, now select this camera 4, let's zoom it, something like this, press P to create a keyframe here and then go to around something like this point and let's zoom out and here you can change all of this camera position to 0. and back to here create a keyframe to displace scatter multi and all of this then back to here change this to zero okay select this and you can drag this camera to something like this point go to this one press a create a keyframe back to here and let's drag it to something like this point select this press u and let's zoom it little bit more like this okay so here we'll find something like this kind of animation now let's add depth of field to the all camera movement select the camera one click here then go to camera option and change the blur level to 200 aperture 20 and turn on depth of field now let's change the focus distance now go to camera two enable camera option and enable depth of field from here blur level 200 aperture 20 and let's change it okay i think this is good here Now go to the last camera which is camera 4, go to here and then go to camera option, turn on depth of field, blur level 200 and temperature 20. Ok, now create a keyframe on depth of field, go to around something like here and go to this point and turn off this now go to this point let's cut it to here select all of this camera and enable this option and click on this icon to hide camera from here now let's create another new solid and rename it to flare select the color to black hit ok and then go to effect and presets search for optical flare then go to options and clear all select this lens orbs then hit ok 
change this render mode to transparent let's create a keyframe to position and center position then go to around two second and change this to here go to another three second and change it to something like this point go to four and let's change it to here go to six and let's drag it to here select this press u now go to this point and select this let's drag it to this point and then you can also drag it to here or maybe this here okay now let's create another new solid also rename it to flare 2 again apply optical flare to this comb and from here change its mode to transparent and let's change source type to 3d so here you can see we'll find something like this kind of effect so now go to project window and let's create another new composition rename it to render and change its duration to 35 hit ok now let's input our audio file and drag it to the timeline now here let's create some text go to new text and type your text now select the text let's go to this point ctrl shift d to cut it here also cut it here and again you can cut it to at this point now select the slash text and cut it to here now select this text so let's change the text and change the size so now select this text press s create a keyframe here change the size to 95 go to last of this change it to 100 now select all of this text close it now you can pre-compose or you can keep it now go to project window select the main comb drag and drop to the timeline and drag it to something like this point now go to here we need to change something from here so select this flare go to effect presets Create a keyframe here, go to this point, drag this to something like this point. Now go to here, cut it at this point. Now go to layer, create a new solid, rename it to black bar. Select this rectangle, double click here, and then go to here and enable title set action select this drag it to this point and also this drag it to this point now change this mode to subtract so now you'll find something like this kind of cinematic black bar here now let's do some color correction go to layer new and new adjustment layer place it here and rename it to curves now select this go to effect presets and search for curves apply it let's change something like this okay so now let's see the preview
so this is the tutorial hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to like this video and if you still not subscribe then make sure to subscribe my channel so now if you want to render this so you just need to go to composition then add to render queue from here you need to select quick time if you don't have quick time then you can choose any of other formats but for this tutorial i'm going to use after code as i have this then you need to turn on this audio if you have an audio then select ok now you just need to select your output folder save and then turn on your caps lock then click on this render option so it will start rendering in your video so this is the tutorial for today hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed then make sure to subscribe my channel and thank you so much for watching by the way you can download this template from the link in the description goodbye